has been remarked by some that Hobbit's only real passion is for food. It's um, it's wonderful how much the dialogue can catch you up on the relationships a lot of these mm -hmm. characters have. As we have also developed a keen interest in the brewing of ales and the smoking of pipe weed. Remember that? Remember we used to get good dialogue that told you a lot with very little. Oh, I mean, thing. I can make you some eggs if you look. Just tea, thank you. All right. Fellowship and not to get ahead, but two towers are like a master class in like getting to know your characters in a, even in these long movies in a pretty quick amount of time. With Rohan in two towers, you you oh, get yeah. all these new characters like oh, in yeah. five minutes. That's actually and, crazy because I don't even remember geez. when I was first seeing it. I was just like, who are all these people? And you know, after like ten minutes, I was like, oh gee, I hope these guys I work out okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. What a great yeah, what a great <laughs> intro to like Theoden and yeah. Wormtongue and Aemir. I want to see mountains again, mountains, Gandalf. And then find somewhere quiet where I can finish my book. The casting in these movies is so wonderful. The difficult uh, question would be, who's the worst casting choice in all of the trilogy? There really? is none. That's the answer. That's kind there of where none. it goes. Greatest yeah. trilogy ever made. You know, choosing Movie Bob as the troll was an interesting one. Oh, I feel thin, sort of stretched, like butter scraped over too much bread. Yes! Get in there. Yeah. <laughs> Finest weed in the South Valley. What I'll say about Liv Tyler and uh, Orlando Bloom, I think that both of them have trouble with acting in a lot of their roles, but they were kind of perfectly cast for the roles they had in this. After Moria, there's a lot of really good acting from Orlando Bloom when he's like struggling to kind of come to grips with the fact that Gandalf died. Yeah, uh, just, that, yeah it, it looks like it shook him because Gandalf is someone yeah. that he's known and he to be. He was really young. I mean, he was he yeah. was a, he was basically a newly minted actor. Find the ring and kill the one who carries it. You know what's funny? He's talking yeah. about how the the nine are heading to the Shire to find Frodo, and Gandalf's like, "Jesus Christ, oh, we gotta, gotta go!" In this, it's indicative that Saruman is not a good guy. In modern stuff, that would just been the dialogue. It's like, oh, why didn't you mm -hmm. tell me that earlier? But are you evil? <laughs> like... We must join with Sauron. Tell me, friend, when did Saruman the wise abandon reason for madness? We must get him to my father. There are five wraiths behind you. I was just thinking about what you said earlier, Moller, about how, like, Liv Tyler's not really known as an actress necessarily, but, like, that sort of makes her perfect for a role like this, where she kind of seems um, spaced out anyway. Where the other four are, I do not know. Hon Mabathon, Rohan Alini. One oh, might God, describe Liv Tyler and Orlando Bloom as actors paralyzed to some extent. And that can be helpful when playing an elf, because they are very, uh, stoic to an extent. Yes. It seems it's finally caught up with me. I'm not like you, Bilbo. My dear boy. Ian Holm, legend. Oh, dude. Nailed casting again. Played Frodo in the BBC radio series, which is excellent, if you haven't heard it. Time of the Elves is over. My people are leaving these shores. It is in men that we must place our hope. The second best character in the whole trilogy. He's number one. Wait, Gary, who's I your number one? Say it in. Four mirrors up there, though. Rags, your number one is. Can I put both of the brothers together? No, you uh, have to Bormir pick one. Fer um, I'm gonna. I gotta go with Teleporno. Uh huh. The race of men is failing. The blood of Numenor is all but spent. Its pride and dignity forgotten. Drink over by you. Well, in the interest of not just saying Boromir like everyone else, I think he's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna say Sam. He's the, he is Good. the MVP yeah. of this movie. Bringy? I'm, I'm kind of on the same page. I'm, it's a toss up for me between Boromir and Sam. Oh, I might go with Sam. I was there the day the strength of men failed. Cast it into the fire! Destroy it! No. And Wolf. I, I'm sorry, are we going our favorite character or who we think is the best character? Because I got different answers. Go favorite. Aragorn. What's your answer for best? Boromir. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, yeah. So Gandalf favorite, they had him best. My favorite and what I think is the best is still Boromir. <laughs> There's no strength left in the world of men. That is one who could unite them. There's so much to say yes. about all of them and the incredible work that's done to detail them all and all the actions they take are so important. I choose a mortal life. Strangers from distant lands, friends of old. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. I yeah, they kind of start. The other ones, yeah. It's so good. Yeah. There's so much to read oh, into as well in terms oh, of what every, what's being told to you by everyone's expressions and the few lines yes. everyone gets to speak. Yep. You will unite or you will fall. Each race is bound to this fate, this one doom. 
This scene is incredibly expeditious in terms of building character because we got a lot of new faces as well. Yeah. And if it was like faces, by the end of it, we got a really faces good set. that of, hate each other. Oh, yeah. A bunch of world building as well. I do not want that power. I have never wanted it. It's hard not to be funny about it, but it's a seriously sad moment what happens here. It is. My old sword. Sting. Here, take it. Take it. It's funny that you say that a girl got scared by the Lurtz fight when this is like the one part of the movie yeah, where I think is... it's legitimately okay to be freaked out. By yes, what you yes, this oh, is yeah. actually yeah. the jump scare that I, th I would have thought scared me when I first saw this for sure. It does, it does really come out of nowhere. Me thrill, as light as a feather and as hard as dragon scales. I was like five when yeah. I saw it. I was like, holy yeah. fuck. Well, it's good that they had a, a horror director essentially do this. My old ring. I sh should very much like to hold it again i mean i'm glad he didn't go like full brain dead with it especially in moria you you get that the the gore comes in and it's like oh there it is there's peter jackson's specialty at that point yep. but yeah it really is tragic isn't it yeah um, just, yeah never free of it and they're both recognizing what's happening here i'm sorry i brought this upon you my boy i'm sorry that you must carry this burden. And that's Frodo's possible future. Yep. Mm. It, it never lets go of you, even if it's gone. There's always going to be a piece of it there. There's so much happening, but one of the aspects is his sadness knowing that Frodo has to do that now. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> Yep. That's for us right. to go through it. It's, 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 been, yeah. it's been emphasized with like a few beats already. This is a heavy, heavy burden. And yeah, this is such, it's dropped on him so quickly. It's like, you better fucking hold your own. This is going to be a tough one. Uh oh. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> you prick. <laughs> but like, oh, it's, it, it feels, because like that feels like you could have squished him right there and then. <laughs> That would have been it for Sam. Movie Bob yeah. does a great job. And then this is where the fellowship shit comes into it. Well, Loads of people almost so die, much. but it's someone they else walk. coming in. They're watching out for each other. Yeah, this here is a big moment for two. By the way, action scenes, hugely important for character. For example... Oh. Boromir, getting his ass kicked. And then he spots, who did that for you? It was Aragorn. You desecrated the fucking grave, you asshole. Poor Balin. <laughs> and this, I feel, is the beginning of the... Gimli is quite a funny character. <laughs> this is a lot to work with there. Yeah, and the Gandalf is just like, we need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like, this is... Yeah. A Balrog. A demon of the ancient world. Also, fantastic name. Probably one I, of the I, best I, names for like a mythical creature. This foe is beyond any of you. Run! I Run! like that. <laughs> Get the fuck out! It's really subtle, but Legolas's expression there, just like fear in his eyes, because like yep. he would know what that is. Yep. Being an elf and all yeah. that. He knows the gravity of like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Corrupted Maiar. See, so always watching out for each other. Yeah, this one's really simple. Right? It's like it's a staircase. Yeah, it's a staircase with no guardrails over like a bottomless pit. Yeah, like pit. If, if any of <laughs> us had to do that. Arrows and... <laughs> yeah, if you had to leap over a gap like that, it's not far. But when you're hundreds of feet in the air, it's fucking terrifying. Yeah, yeah. I thought you'd be Absolutely. shitting your pants if that was you. And of yeah. course, Boromir's That's got all. the. He you got took the them both. That's the thing, though, isn't it? Like, the hobbits need some... Like, this is not something they're ready for. Nobody tosses a dwarf! Nobody tosses a dwarf. <laughs> oh, it's so and then fucking in the next good. movie, he does. <laughs> oh, it's so great. <laughs> not the beard! Not the beard! <laughs> not the beard. <laughs> it's just a little touch of comedy to keep things, you know? And it's Legolas who saves him. This is all... It's, it's, yep. it's all adding up to different payoffs. <laughs> It, it's yeah. literally like two payoffs in like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Aragorn What's not- Gimli saying, Aragorn don't, don't throw me. And then of course, yeah. the Gimli warm me. 
It's so simple, right? It's like in the fight before where Aragorn saves Boromir and then they make sure to show that they both, you know, recognize that that's what happened. Who stops him? Protecting him. Yeah. No, no! Yeah, no! Yeah, because all the goblins are scattering around on the other side now as well. Come on, you fools! Oh, that mm. shit hit hard in the cinema. Uh, <laughs> at least they didn't have to wait three years to see him in the next and see, movie. See, Barmy is concerned about the health of everyone currently, but Aragorn's fucking like, did that just happen? Yeah. No! Yeah, I remember watching this as well. Like, obviously, I haven't read the books. I knew he wasn't dead, but man, it's so well done. Like, well, it the, matches the, the hero's journey, right? Like, the, the mentor dying is like a big portion of it. And I mean, I bought it completely that I wouldn't be seeing him again. And it sucks because I loved him. <laughs> I was like, this character's amazing, please. I mean, that's, going through it's, Moria. It's exactly. That's how you emphasize that, yeah, this shit was actually, like, pretty, pretty fucking terrifying. And it's given its time. Well, that, I mean, oh, it's, I it's kind of reaction uh, there as well. It's just... Yeah. Well, you know, him almost feel responsible for this, because, like, he kind of brought this all down on them by accident. Legolas, get them up. Give them a moment, for pity's sake! And it's just, yeah, it's, it's how much he meant to everybody. He has to snap Legolas out of it almost. We need to see all of these reactions. And yeah, I very much enjoy the motivation is full and fiery with them just for getting Merry and Pippin. We gotta get them. We owe it to them. I don't suppose we'll ever see them again. We may yet, Mr. Frodo. We may. Always a voice of hope. Story has got its splits. You need a Sam in your life. Like, I think yes, everyone does. Oh, everyone yes. should have a Sam.